Hey guys, in this video, I will discuss power cut during washing machine cycle. What to do now? Those unexpected power outages sometimes are frustrating. They interfere with specific activity, leaving you stuck on what to do. So, you wonder if you should check the circuit breaker of the ground fault circuit interrupter outlet if it just tripped off or if you should check if the machine is faulty. When a power outage occurs in this style during a washing cycle, you're stuck on what to do or how to continue the process. Welcome to homeguideinfo.com. Before starting, I would like to say, whatever we explain in the videos is only for educational purposes. We don't provide any expert advice. Let's get into this. It would be best to wait for the power to return, and the machine will start from where it stopped during the outage. If the power outage is prolonged, you should reset the washing cycle to get a proper and good wash. If the door refuses to open, turn off the washing machine and unplug it. Wait for about 5 minutes before you open it. What happens if power cut during washing machine? When there is a power cut during the washing machine cycle, it stops and pauses until power is restored. Then, without switching off the machine or unplugging the electrical circuit, the system retains its auto lock for about 5 minutes. With old model washing machines having a mechanical timer, you don't have to worry about losing time set for the cycle. Newer washing machines also remember where they stopped the process and why some do not, depending on the type. The GFCI outlet is commonly used in every house, so your machine is sure to be safe if the power cut is dangerous. Can a power outage damage my washing machine? A power outage won't damage your washing machine, and the return could damage your machine. Reduced power availability in the form of a power cut called a brownout can damage the washing machine. If there's a power surge, there sure is a possibility of damage to your washer and other appliances plugged in. Brownout damage will happen to your washing machine and other appliances with electrical motors, sometimes when the power is restored at low volts, which causes your motors to hum and not turn. Switching your washing machine and other appliances from their outlets is best. It is the most basic way to prevent electronic damage. You can also tell a low voltage by dimming the washing machine. The inadequate supply of brownouts is scarce to damage a washing machine and other appliances. In addition, a brownout won't damage most modern, newer washing machines with high-quality built components and well-built electronics. How do you reset a washing machine after power outage? Press the reset button. If it doesn't work or there isn't such a button, unplug or turn the circuit breaker off for one minute. After that, you plug back the power cord into the outlet or turn the circuit breaker back on and wait for about one minute. Then you clear the display by pressing the cancel, pause or stop button twice and press the power button. Generally. When you want to reset a machine or device, you unplug it and plug it back in before putting it on. Unfortunately, the washing machine is not convenient to unplug, preferably, it's the circuit breaker you can switch off or unplug. Resetting a washing machine has many ways to do, and it also depends on your type of washing machine. So first, before you touch any button or power cords or circuit breakers, make sure your hands are dry. So, in essence, you can reset a washing machine automatically by pressing a reset button or manually by unplugging and plugging back and following some procedures to reset it safely. These two methods will be explained below. Number 1. Automatic Reset Most newer programmable washers have a reset function. This reset function clears a sudden error, such as a delay to start. For example, when the power is cut, the washing cycle might refuse to start and you can use the command and reset controls. As earlier, the resetting method varies by type and model. In some models, you turn the knob to reset with the power button off. After turning the knob, you can select a new program and press the power button to restart the washer. In other models, the machine may have a cancel button, push it to clear the error, and push the pause or stop button to reset it. You can find washing machine helpful handbooks and troubleshooting on the manufacturer's website. You should look up the handbooks for the best resetting process that applies to the type of model you have. Number 2. Manual Reset The manual reset method involves getting the motors in the machine to pick up from a stop. To perform this type of reset, Carefully unplug the washing machine from the power outlet and leave it unplugged for about one minute. Plug the power cord back into the outlet, and open and close the washing machine's door six times within 12 seconds. The opening and closing of the door is a way of sending a reset signal to all the components due to the inconvenience or easy access to the washing machine's power plug to reset the washer. You can leave it off for about one minute, depending on the model you have in the instructions in the guide. In some washing machines with a knob control, you turn it clockwise to any cycle other than final spin. Select any cycle other than spin with button controls and turn the circuit breaker back on. Some machines require that you open and close the door six times after plugging the machine in to reset the motor. Alright, folks, that's all in the video. See you in the next one. If you want to read a blog post, you can visit our website, a link is in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and help us to reach a new audience and grow our channel.